Hello and welcome to the new Bernadotte patch, Bernadotte update, and this features the 6 YA Motor Strelke Brigade. Um, these are divisions, but there's also some brigades. The VDV are also a brigade, the Proto VDV. So this is a new division, and it's formed from the split of Berliner Gro Groprungs um, into Berliner Groprungs and 6 YA. So let's have a look at this. You get a very, very generous Logi tab, so you can fill up a lot of logistics. And the fobs are now cheaper. It's cheaper for everybody, not just this division. Fairly straightforward CVs. It's worth noting that this one doesn't have smoke. Um, that has got me in trouble lots of times because I assumed it has smoke. And uh, neither does this one. So all three of these CVs, well, and the helicopter, four I suppose, don't have smoke. Um, so I'm going to build it something like that and then cycle back and see if we've got any AP left. The infantry tab's fairly basic, so in place of the Motor Strelke Metis, you now get Lufsturm Jäger Metis, and these guys are Motor Strelke Metis, but they've lost the forward deploy. Just a visual bug here, uh, they don't have the forward deploy, but they come in helicopters. So you can bring them in rocket helicopters for a lot more points, or you can bring them in uh, the fairly basic Mi-8T, which is a pretty decent transport helicopter. It's got the 200 kilometers an hour speed and 8 HP for 45 points, so I prefer that. Uh, you can also get an airborne CV, Special Forces CV, 90 points for two men. Um, or you can get one for 80 points for two men. It's less vet, but do you... Or, or you can get three men at 60 points and three availability, crucially. So I would go for this because chances are whatever's going to kill you when you're four men is probably going to kill you when you're three men. <laughs> Um, and vice versa. Uh, you know, the bomb is still going to get you. So I'd be tempted to go for this, but three is quite weak, but you get um, you can bring it in a KPVT transport, which is 30 points, quite expensive, or just bring it in the car, which is what I'm going to do. So I like my Lufsturm Jäger Metis, and I want my regular Lufsturm, Lufsturm Jäger. So these are just FS Jäger, um, but now they come in helicopters. So, yeah, I want to bring those. Interestingly enough, Motschutzen are now 10 availability, 45 points. And I like to bring it with the Faggot M because for, well, for 10 points, you get a Faggot M and that's got 17 pen. Um, it's up to you. You could go for the one with more range. But yeah, I'd prefer the, the slightly better BMP one and it's still very cheap at 35 points. And it's got three armor, and it's got smoke. Um, these are the smoke canisters. Sadly, still no way to tell if there's smoke in-game. So I'm going to be bringing that. So Perry RPO is sort of a must-have if you want to take forests. They've got the RPOs, they've got shock, and I bring them in the BTR 60PB because if you end up against enemy Saperi RPOs in the forest or in the town, then you can bully them with the BTR 60PB. I'm going to be bringing the Conkers, and I will vet this once for 1v1. If you're in team, you might want to keep it down vet. To be honest, these guys die a lot now, so I might actually, you know, to artillery and so on, so I might actually leave it down vetted and see how that goes for me. Then you've got Motostrike BMP. Now, interestingly enough, if you pay five more points, you get a grenade launcher, but you lose the smoke. It's not... It's not on the stack card, you just have to look that the smoke launchers are gone because the grenade launcher has taken their place. So I actually bring it without the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher DPS was nerfed some time ago and it never really recovered. So if you compare the PKT to the grenade launcher, the grenade launcher's got more range, sure, but um, I actually think the PKT is still serviceable. And I'd rather have the smoke because it saves the unit. It can save everybody in that transport. It's basically like a free extra life if you have the micro. Keep in mind that the smoke cost is still 200 points. So if it uses its smoke, you might not want to resupply it. So we're going to be bringing a couple cards of those. And uh, we'll cycle back for this three-point slot. I might not actually need it. I've got plenty of infantry. I just like to organize it in a specific way. Uh, by by price and so on. So I always have my leaders on the far left. 
It's worth doing that here as well. I always have my leaders... Actually, on the CV tab, I always have my leaders on the right. <coughs> Apologies, I'll edit that part out. Moving on to the artillery tab, you've got this thing, the giant S. And this actually fires quite quickly within the salvo, so it's worth bringing. Uh, it's worth bringing. It's it's pretty good howitzer, actually. Uh, you might want to upvet it and just bring one, but I prefer downvetting in case it dies. The Eurogun is a must-have. MLRS is very, very strong this patch, as it was last patch. And the mortars are, for a smoke are a must-have as well, so I bring those in the MTLB. It's a bit slower, but if you're getting counter batteries, you put it in the MTLB and usually you survive. So I like to bring it like that. Tank tab, you have the T64 BVK command tank. So we're up to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 CVs. So I could actually get rid of this to save myself 2 AP. Potentially bring a second car to supply. We'll cycle back. Now these... This is an interesting trade-off. So ERA has been nerfed by 1 HP. It's now plus 1 HP. And these are the same price, but one gets the better ATGM. And one less armor, but it gets the ERA. So I prefer the T64 BV in its current iteration. I believe in the previous patch it had less pen, but now it has the same pen. Um, but I would also bring the T-80B as well. I would just be bringing all of these, and I'd be upvetting them once. The autoloader bug has been fixed, but you still get that 5% extra accuracy. You still take less cohesion damage, so you can drive around faster. It's still very worth it. You know, you get extra accuracy on the ATGM, 5% on the ATGM. Um, and your, your aim time goes down as well. But I believe the autoloader bug has been fixed. So we might come back and get some T-64s if we have to. Um, what's what's the difference here? Yeah, I'll get one card of T-64s. You, you could also bring this thing with the 2,800 meter range ATGM. It can be very useful. It usually gets artillery, and the tanks sort of do the same thing, but this, this is a very useful unit. In close quarters fighting, the T-55A can be useful because it's got quite a lot of armor, so it usually survives the first shot, turns around and shoots whoever's frustrating it. <clears throat> and with your lack of auto cannons, that can be useful. Switching to the recon tab, another new unit here, it's called the Spetsgruppe A. Um, these guys are pretty interesting. I They're 10 men, which makes them good in CQC, but the Druganov isn't very useful um, is still kind of bad, but they get satchels and scorpions at 10 men, so in, in CQC they can be useful. I've used them in town fights and I liked them. It's mo mostly about the 10 men. Motorized Avclearer, so now you can either get 4 man squad or a 7 man squad with a worse RPG. Uh, because I've got the Spets Gripper A for the high HP recon, I actually bring these guys and I have them in the KPVT. This is your recon helicopter. It's got four PKTs on it. You're never really going to use those, but it's it's just your recon helicopter, essentially. And the BRDM-2 is really, really useful because it's very good optics for some reason. It's very, very fast. Uh, a really useful unit, particularly for 30.6 availability. Very useful unit. AA tab. So I like to bring the books, the Tunguskas and the Iglas. I don't think this thing is very useful. Uh, it doesn't move around very well. It's just not particularly great. But yeah, between the books, the Tunguskas and the Iglas, you should be good against most air threats. Helicopter tab. So you've got this. This is the new unit, the Escortini. Currently, the, these big rockets are a bit rubbish, but the AA rockets are very useful, and the Dumbfire rockets are very useful. So this is essentially your helicopter opener rocket plane. Rocket helicopter. My apologies. So I'm going to be bringing two cards of those. And you also get this, the MI-2 Urn. And this is like a gazelle rocket, except good. It's uh, It's got an auto cannon on it, and it's got decent rockets on it. I think it's got more than the gazelle rocket. I think that only brings 16. So this is like a really good gazelle rocket. Um, you can upvet it if you want. I don't see the point, because they die so quickly. You want as many as possible. So... You can sort of see where the division's going, uh, but we'll finish the last tab. So, air tab. So, you get the MiG-31B, which now has a gun on it, which is actually a huge buff. It's a huge buff having this gun. 
Um, so you definitely need that. And then this thing is a MiG-21 Bison cluster, and it's got two sets of clusters. It basically eviscerates anything it lands on. Um, it's extremely powerful, so you actually bring you should bring both cards of those. And then with your last planes, you can bring some trainer jets. So this is the HE one, and this is the Napalm one. I think the HE one's better. Uh, the only issue is it's got 6 HP, so it dies in one shot to a Rapier and Osa. If a man pad hits it and gets a crit, it dies in one shot. Um, it dies in one shot to a lot of a lot of missiles are six HE. This this is eight, but a lot of the missiles like the the Sky Flash and the and the um, the Sparrow I think are both six. Uh, there's a lot of missiles which are six, so this will die in in one hit. But it's very very good for the opener. You just buy all three and just bomb the rubbish out of people. And keep in mind that clusters now have a small HE value. So this is how I build this division, and you can sort of see what I'm going for here. Basically, you open with um, the the guys in helicopters, and you escort them with the escortini and the urns. The urns are pretty crucial to this. And then you back it up with lots of BMP-1 spam and T-64s and T-80s. And all that time you're using the Uragun, you're using the Giant S Howitzer piece. It's a really powerful division, and if you encounter enemy armor, you uh, you blow them up with this. And early on in the game, you can buy all three of these and do some kind of air wave with them. Another way to build it is to get these napalms as well and do the same thing. I don't rate these rocket planes, they don't really seem to work properly. And this thing is like a very cheap... Uh, not particularly great backup ASF which you could bring. So that's 6Y and if you want to see a game where I play this I actually live streamed those games uh, but I might just attach it to the video to make it easier. So we will now go in game. Right so here I am playing 6YA and I'm up against Fight to the End. Um, he's a really good player he's got a lot of games but I've had numerous occasions where he has not fought to the end. <laughs> Oh, he's played 39Y, which means that we can uh, get a little bit of air rush on the go, and we'll see how he copes with that. So we're going to be air rushing him. We're going to be rushing him down on Elena. Um, is that a good idea? Because I don't think late game we can beat him at all. I don't think we can beat him late game at all. Uh... And yeah, his anti helo options at the start are like not that great. Um, like, don't get me wrong, gets osas and stuff. But if he wants to get a plane, it's going to be tough for him to do that. So we'll see how this goes. I actually think this is going to go really, really badly. If it was on a bigger map, this would work a lot better, but it's not. And so, you know, it's not going to go very well. Because if he's got an osa coming down that road, all these guys are going to die. <laughs> But we do it for the memes. We do it for the memes. Sadly, you know, smoking is going to be a bit difficult. Do I even have to? Do I even have to? So, early helo aggression. Get the urns. These things are really good. Uh, they're, they're very... They don't live very long because they've only got 4 HP. But they are very good. The lack of an ATGM helo is a big problem on this division. But, you do what you can. You do what you can. And, yeah, get this one down that road. Right, so we need, we do need a screen over here. We can't just have all this going on with nothing, nothing protecting it. So, I'm going to you there. Uh, so yeah, because if he chooses to attack us down mid, we're actually going to have a really, really difficult time. <laughs> we really are. Uh, so it can be worth getting a Conkers as well. Just putting it like, to be honest, because it, it'll get bombed. So it needs to be like here. But he could attack there. So we'll get, get two Conkers. No, hang on. The BMP one P's have ATGM, so we will just get two of those, and then that is our. Can I get away with only having one? 
Can I get away with only having one? Because that is really expensive. I don't think I can. Which means a, a big push here, because these everything's so expensive that it, it's really kind of difficult to do this properly, but we'll get, um... We'll get, like, a bunch of Vapos. And... One of these and one of those. I don't think this is going to work. There's just not enough here. There's not enough here and there's no smoke cover. And we're just sort of YOLOing straight into him. If he's bought AA, we're just going to die. In fact, doesn't this guy open really air heavy? I think he does, you know. I think he does. Uh. Okay. Change of plans. So if he opens air heavy, man, we've had it. We don't have any AA. And I'm pretty sure he always opens air heavy. Like SUs and stuff, like all these guys are gonna die. My mind's telling me no. But my body is telling me yes. And he should expect a heli opener. So I think that's exactly what we shouldn't do. I think we should try and grind him out with the TA with the these are just TABVs by another name now. It's just, just stupid. I don't know why they just make every tank the same. Um, because yeah, this ain't gonna work, or at least if it is, it's not gonna work from the air. It's definitely not gonna work from the air. So we'll just flood it the normal way. <laughs> but then I don't have any meta squads. Hmm. Tell you what, instead of going down there, why don't we try exactly the same thing? We go down mid. No, because if he opens air heavy, I've had it. Because I don't have any AA. I don't have any AA, so I, I think this isn't going to work. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Right, change of plans. It's just a shame because you can't really use these guys because they only come in helicopters. If it was a bigger map, I'd have a better chance, but then, then you know, then it might be more likely to open a heavy. So, just get rid of all this. <laughs> get rid of all that. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, this is a suitable force, I guess. So just sort of sit there. And now he started, and I'm not ready. So we're actually going to just buy a... Buy the... Get the command one, because it's cheaper. Um, and then buy two books. Or a book and a Tunguska. And just open really defensively. Really defensive opening, because I'm expecting... Uh, we'll get rid of that as well. Oops. Oh, bollocks. Uh, and, uh, so. Thanks for waiting. I always thank your opponent for waiting. And I'd like to take this time to thank the generous channel joiners, who get their names on the screen. We get the videos up to a week early. They don't mind when I put this CV on the wrong road. And, uh... <laughs> <it's question marks. laughs> um... So this is on the wrong road. Now I'm gonna not get that zone as fast. And to be honest, I didn't need two of these. <laughs> Could have got rid of this. Got some extra infantry. So we're just gonna grind him out this game, I guess, because the helo thing isn't gonna work. So can't do that. That behind that building, I like having it there. So it's behind the buildings, right? So there we go. So I don't see any planes. So we should have done the rush. So it was all for naught. It was all for naught. There. Should be able to kill this guy pretty fast. And we'll buy another... Uh, we'll actually buy this off spawn. Move this guy slightly. I don't want to lose him to... Oh, hello. He's, he's helo rushing me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so that's not going very well. Um, we, we came on the wrong side, so we're being helo attacked pretty hard there. Which means that we need to attack over here. Because we're, we're not holding that. Those guys are all going to die now. Those men are all dead. Oh my god, why did I buy this off spawn? That was so stupid, so stupid. Why did I do that? So, we need to push over here, we know there's a guy in there. Hey, 
Oh no, he's getting all the AA. Oh dear. Ah, uh, there goes everything. Oh, so that's all low cohesion. Doesn't mean it's dead, but it means it can't push. He's coming in over here pretty, pretty fast. He's getting there pretty fast. The Mott shuts in. So he's, he's moving up on the buildings. So we need, to, we need to move this. It's already done. So that's a shame because we're losing all the CVs. Like that guy's going to route up the zone. <laughs> so it's obviously not fantastic. Get that back. So this has actually gone absolutely terribly. As you'd expect from a Hitler opener. So yeah, we just routed out the zone, which happens in this game. Losing all these guys to that bomber, that was entirely my fault. I should have just clumped them up a bit better. This guy's gonna die because it still goes in a oh, never mind. So, we need, uh, we need lo lots and lots and lots of guys, uh, backed up by some T-55s. A T fifty five. So get that healing. Get all that healing. And now he's in that building. Can he shoot from that? Yeah, I think. No, he can't. That's almost a twenty two, which is five hundred meters range. That's the AA heli. So this was a mistake as well, because this is going to get shot, and then he's going to. Oh, we get we get in though. We get in though. So that's good. Something at least. Uh, but we lost that mi And yeah, we just can't push up here because of the uh, that one BMP2 is just messing everybody up. My tank can't shoot because it's uh, slow cohesion, etc. So this was probably a mistake as well. That's just going to die now, isn't it? No, hang on. I think we're okay. No, no, he sees me. No, hang on. What? <laughs> so we'll get that. I don't know what it is. Probably a tank. <laughs> And yeah, he's just constantly going in that building and I can't see him. <laughs> Whatever that is, it is no more. He niggler for here. That guy's dead. Didn't have to happen. Didn't have to happen. Shoot there. No clue where the CV is. He's, yeah, he's not, he's not doing him. So that's that love storm, yeah, it didn't have to happen, really. So see this. Yeah, it does, that's dead. It can't move in time. It's only got four HP. And it's going to move into the, you know, the open anyway. Uh, I don't have any helo hunters, so I'm pretty weak to this. Pretty weak to this, not having any helo hunters. So I'm dead. Because like these don't have auto cannons, so they can't really do anything about that. Um, we lost that infantry. I'm not sure what killed him. Please die. <laughs> we actually got hit with our fight, so it's a big shame. Okay, I missed. Let's play better, I guess. Is that the CV? No, it's reinforcement. That's like a T8 BV. So that's a big problem. So my push there has been stopped. My push here has been stopped. And uh, <laughs> I don't know where. Where's the AA? So it's there. Okay. And it's uh, it's a Strela one. Or so how much damage it's doing? We need to try and push back in there. But my push here was was stopped, which is a big problem because I know he's he's just like right there or something. I can't do anything about it. It's kind of a problem. Kind of nothing, it is a problem. These Razvedka Saperis, so that. Just we don't want to be running into them because then we can use the Saperi. But... So, we're going to go for that Strela that was there. I think it was there. It's having a tough time dealing. This division really does have a tough time dealing with helicopters. Uh, it really does. What the fuck is that? BTR uh, 60 PB. Okay. I lost my Igloo, which is a big problem. So that AA is dead, but we can't kill this. We don't have anything for that, so it's just killing everybody. <laughs> um, oh, great. It's just both SPG nights. 
So, I don't, I'm not sure what to do about that guy. Like, I, I guess this is my best bet, but that's really not what it's for. How's this happening? I'm supposed to be the rush diff. How many coke does this man have? Eight, okay. <laughs> So, we've lost that zone. It's going to be very, very difficult to get back in here. You see, it doesn't kill it. So that's not what it's for. <laughs> we finally dealt with this. But there's nothing stopping him from just buying some... Oh, great. So we got to get this guy out of there. Got to move this now, because it'll die. We got somebody there. But we just can't kill that. My Igla died, right? So. Great. <laughs> oh, a supply? That's fortuitous. I think it's gonna explode, though. <laughs> what happened to that plane? Did he get rid of it? No, it's still there. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. There's no way we can kill that. Uh, so we need to sort that out. But I can't see him. I can't see him. Hopefully I get him. I think I might have got him. It's impossible to know. No, he survived. I'm dead. He's aimed before me. Hey! <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a bit weird. I'm not sure what's going on there. <laughs> oh my god, these fucking guys, dude, I just can't get to him. Can't get to him. That was alright, though. That went okay, I suppose. But yeah, that motor strokey there is messing me up. Let's sell that. Great, and then I can bomb here because I think that's where the CV is. I haven't been using this artillery that I spent all that money on. All that money I spent on that artillery. And we know that he's got somebody over here. Let's get the urns. Yeah, because we can deploy the urns now. Right, so the comeback is rail. Comeback is rail. And, um, so... I don't know if I got him. We'll find out in a second. But hey, we managed to... So I didn't have to buy that CV because I had that one. I'm pretty sure I got that tank CV. Uh, we lost that reservoir. Good. Those urns up here, I th I'm pretty sure you'll have driven it out of the zone. Or it's dead. <laughs> But yeah, we desperately need some heals up for these guys. And we need some more AA. We need another book, because the last one died to a tank at close range. And that well, I'm pretty sure I got that CV tank that was here. It's just... he still got the zone, so he must have bought another one. Great. So he's going to be really thin on the ground for the rest of the game. So the comeback is rail. And um, I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, God, he's just... Still attacking. <laughs> He's still attacking. The BTR 60 PB going down that road now. Hello, Motor Strokey. We're in that house there. So we need to cover these houses because he's sending people down there. I'm trying to get to this CV, I suppose. Now, here come the tanks. Here come the tanks. Oh, so there's another command tank, which is to be expected, really. If he sees me. Just keeping him spotted. Great. Now I can start counter pushing here. And we need some more conkers. Helicopter over there. What happened to that BTR 60 PB? How far did it go? Okay, so now he's coming down this road. Very aggressive player. I do like it. I do like to see that aggression. There's that BTR 60 PB we spoke about. My crew's been injured, apparently. <laughs> I think I got him. <laughs> Whoa, hello. That's VG9 there. But we can't see anything here. And that, that'll die to those tanks that were coming down there. 
Uh, shoot that, then shoot that. So, he's, he's a lot of points up. He's a lot of points up, but he's taken some really bad trades. So, I'm not feeling in confident. Is that the right? I don't think that makes sense. Uh, but he has taken that back. And we could use some supply there. So they're all really low. So we'll send this guy over there. We lost that much at some... We're pushing too fast, we need to chill out a bit. Chill out a little bit. Change out to your new, so just so he doesn't get all the way down there. Because once he gets to here, it gets really, really rough. Right. So that's going to die now. It smokes the wrong way. So we need some infantry up to there, because all that infantry is dead. I want to start pushing over here, but I need more people. Just all the time, I don't have enough people. But I'm pretty sure we've got more, you know, I'm pretty sure he took some pretty bad trades there. Pretty bad trades. So, get these guys up. Um... Send him with him, even though he's not high. Well, actually, leave you behind. Send this guy with him. To there. Buy another supply for that, because that's all going to go. And yeah, he's moving up here, so. He's moving back, because he's, he's, he's killing all the. But he, they're all just dying. And, oh no, that one survived a hit. That one survived a hit. So it's suddenly urn. <laughs> right, so we need to try and pull this back from the brink. From the brink. So stop Harry up here there. So that guy's obviously not there in that fight. And yeah, we'll bomb that house. And I could use a T-64. So I need some... These Spets Grupper A are really good, actually. I should have bought some in the opener, but I forgot. So that's, uh, what, Estrella? Because it did 5 damage. Estrella 10M. Did 5 damage. And he survived. And he disappeared. Okay. <laughs> These guys up. Hello. Found some buddies. We've got SMGs, so we should win that fight. Uh, this thing's running out of ammo. Uh, but that means he's going to start putting people over here, so we need a. Uh, Actually, we need more infantry over here, don't we? I remember now. So a couple of our posts, but a little BMP 1P. Still there. Supply for you. We can pull this back. It's not over. Am oh, no. it's pretty rough over there. <laughs> Buster's damage infantry now, so that's why I'm doing that. So move this guy up, get that guy back. For the supply. I'm going to move now. Is there any infantry in this? Oh, shine. <laughs> Whoa, I don't, really don't want to lose that. Oh, no. How much damage? Six. Okay, so you'd have to hit me twice. Uh, we fire eight missiles, we get two hits. We lost an urn over here. It's a very aggressive player. I do admire it. I do admire it. We get some Saperiapio in here because we do get access to those. There we go. You see the cluster. It damages the infantry. The cluster damages the infantry. And yeah, this we, we've got a serious problem here. Uh, <laughs> So we'll keep pushing up there, but he will Eurogun it, because he's got a Eurogun. He's got some artillery up as well, apparently, so we'll switch that to counter-battery. Uh, 
Uh, up to there. Move what up the supply. Get these guys up. Got Come so on, many units here that I'm not utilizing. Oh, he's, he's still alive. So we didn't actually kill him. So he's lucky, he's running away. And yeah, we gotta watch out for that Urigan. Gotta watch out for that Urigan. Um. Okay, so that's that's another guy. So now that I've fired with the CV tank, I have to move it. And he's got a meta squad there, which is a problem. I just don't, I can't hit the targets with the artillery fast enough, man. <laughs> can't hit them fast enough, because that's obviously going to start messing up all these guys, and... I'm shooting as fast as I can, but... Oh, so he's moved up. I'm going to go for that Strela, with this. Send these guys over to the... Well, I don't know, maybe there's better. See, these urns, man, they're pretty useful, they're pretty useful. Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> pretty useful moment. Oh no, he had another one. He had another one, and he got me. And that's that one's an Osa, so good problem. So we'll shoot that, and then shoot that, and then shoot that. Guys, just uh. Because uh, I know he's got tank over here. It's a big problem. I, know I already said that. But. Okay. Get the over to there. That. Where's the Iglos? They're too far away to do this. That T80 BB there is a bit of an issue. Try and get this guy up to here so we can shoot. I have to do something about that. Just killing everybody. I need to slow down a bit with my attack if I'm being a time honest. Oh, I went for the wrong one. Went for the wrong one. He smoked it. That guy routed. Big shame. Oh, I lost those to the BMP2 apparently. Got outplayed. CV tank just left the zone. <laughs> Unless he's got two. So that guy routed. We need more tanks, I guess. Uh, I'm a bit worried about the incoming Urigan. <laughs> a little bit worried about that. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so it stopped you guys. <laughs> Move this up. Okay, if we can kill that, that would be absolutely huge. Hope he doesn't vanish. He's vanishing. He's vanishing. I've lost him. I've found him. <laughs> I'm going to lose him when he goes behind that hill. I lost him. Oh, the SU hit me. Oh, damn. If only the, that SU hadn't hit me. But it did, and you gotta deal with that. So the, uh, that's a lot of rockets. It's a lot of rockets for no hits. That was eight rockets for no for one hit. I got one hit. I got one hit, so I guess it's all good if I get one hit. Um, <laughs> right. We're getting in. It's working. <laughs> This guy's not shooting, put him on counter battery. Oh, hello. <laughs> that's a good sh That's a good uh, target, isn't it? T-55's doing nothing. Doing nothing. And where are my Iglers? Come on, I got so many of them. I got so many of them for that. <laughs> and then none of them can shoot. Oh, I guess, I guess a couple of them have died, which doesn't help. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're not in good places. But we're getting back in. We're getting back in. Uh, we need another tank, I guess. It's really frustrating. <laughs> what? How does he know? Is he just he's just shooting and he's getting a bit lucky, I guess. Oh no, that that guy's gonna be a big problem. Not sure how to deal with that. Buy another one of these. Move this around to there. Get this up to there so I could use its its cool thing. 
To be honest, I can probably kill that without this. And I don't want to lose it to the uh, to the AA, of which there is much. <laughs> and we'll, we'll start bringing in the Lustrum Jäger now. Okay. But yeah, I'm trying to shoot that. And I'll soon be able to... Yep, side shots, come on, side shots. Front shot, apparently. Come on, get me an angle. What the hell? How, this man, <laughs> you just killed everybody. What's going on there? <laughs> He's like turning really, really, really fast or something. <laughs> right, we fight. I don't think we got it. It just smoked and backed. We didn't do any damage to that. That is absolutely mad. Still trying to attack over here. Send that like that. Uh, BMP2 there is a big problem. Uh, we need more infantry over here. I got that BMP2, but I died for it. This is not in a great place. You won't be able to do anything about that. Um, oh no, I'm losing the Igglers. He's doing a really good job cutting my uh, everything here. That flipping guy, man. That guy has killed so much. Oh no, and then he disappears. Disappears. He's killed so many of my guys. Okay, so this needs to come out of there now. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, there it goes. That didn't have to happen. Smoke with this. That's a lot of Urigans. Just leaving them all in the transports until it stops firing. Oh, it routed. Oh, it routed and now it can't get away. Can't get away. <laughs> uh, still got one of these left. Uh, we he's got a mess squad in there. To be honest, need these guys here. Uh, we know he's got a guy there. This is out of rounds. Big problem. Uh, he's going. For, he's going for the CV. I'm losing these every time I'm sending them. He's not going for the CV. Get in the vehicles. Get in the vehicle. Oh, thank God, that was clutch. Oh, we lost that to that, I guess. Uh, we need more AA, but it died. I've got a tongue screw and it died, right? And I've got like a couple of left, I guess. Looking great. But he's, he's about to get back in here. This guy spent all their shots. So there goes the tick. It'll be plus two now. Do you wonder what's going on over here? Like, can I just earn it? Can I earn it? Don't sell you. No, just don't sell you. Don't sell you. Don't cover anything. Just stop. <laughs> I'm going to try a helo attack on the right side. Oh, we missed him. All my tanks keep dying to his tanks, which is just a skill issue, I guess. Um, actually, we've got still got one there. Oh my god. <laughs> I just can't kill the helicopters as well. This helicopter play is really good. Really good. So, I need a tank here. It just looks down that road. Because, yeah, he's just got too many tanks. I just can't kill him fast enough. I just can't kill him fast enough. And yeah, eventually he's going to get this just by artillery and everything, because he's artillery a lot, as you probably know. Uh, might be able to get that guy, especially if he keeps doing that. So we'll get this guy to there, and we'll, we'll, we need to clear this out. Yeah, you see it's it, a fire started under it, and then... I'm not sure what's going on there. You'll probably lose that. Like, yeah, he's going to lose that. He's dead. There's no way that's 
But this might die to that fire, which <laughs> would be really embarrassing actually if it happened. <laughs> Hello. What the flip? That is an absolute mad lad. He's just attacking with everything. <laughs> Is that another tank? So that's obviously going to stop my brave attack. Oh, it's Estrella, which is even worse for this this plan that we have here. <laughs> Come on, you'll love Sturm Jaeger. So he's just killing everybody by himself. <laughs> Surely, oh my god. <laughs> right, there it is. That's the CV. How do I deal with that? That's frustrating. So I need two clusters up on it. We got that CV. But now he's sending, oh, I'm not spending my income. I'm not spending my income. I'm not spending my income. This is really bad. Big bad. Big bad. It's got a lot of CVs, this guy. Right, we're about to get pushed out because uh, we don't have any infantry left and, um, you know, <laughs> there's a motor strike coming. I'll put this slightly in front and I'll try and drop... Uh... Well, I don't know. I mean, like, where's his AA? Has he got any AA left? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, the helicopters are, are on the prowl. This guy really needs to die before we do anything. Uh, otherwise, the helicopters are all going to die. And it's going to be very embarrassing. So, try to get these back. <laughs> we are plus four, but he's about to get back out. I mean, the guy just seems to have unlimited CVs. So, he'll get, get back in that zone pretty fast, I reckon. Um, the guy just does not seem to run out of CVs. So, get that to there, stop you. Uh, having this guy there would be useful. Because, like, look, that I need to kill that, but it's not dying. I guess this is probably the place, because this obviously will have minimum range if it... Oh, no. It's just moving it. Yoga. He's going for the Igloos. <laughs> so we got him. Uh-oh. No. Uh, sugar, 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 sugar. We need, we need uh, all this back. <laughs> right. So now that that has moved, we can actually go and shoot that, and we can actually deploy. It's time to deploy the strat. So we're going in. This guy first. This oh, he's, oh flip. He moved it. He moved it. So it's like it was all for nothing, because he moved it. So that was a big problem. Um, but hey, we, we can just attack across the field, I guess, and we need backup CV because I think that one's going to die soon. Oh bollocks, oh bollocks, oh bollocks. <laughs> that was stupid of me, just wasn't paying enough attention. So we lost that trainer jet. The flip. So we've taken this, which pushes him out a bit, but then he'll just move it to there because, you know, he's got lots of space, lots of space to work with. And did that cluster drop? It did not. Uh, these guys are out of rounds, so we actually need to evac everybody. Great. And now we can push back in. We lost that tank, though. We just need to spend our income. We're not spending our income. The book, he gets a hit off. That's great news. There it is. Oh, and I just evac'd. I just evac'd. He surrendered. He surrendered. So there you go. We won. We were about to take that, and uh, I think he'd run out of CVs. The opposing team had surrendered. So, yeah, that's, you know, you can pull it back. You can pull it back. Don't just give up, right? And he's called fight to the end, and he doesn't fight to the end. He used to, but he stopped doing it. Um, and yeah, the giant S didn't actually get a lot of kills. I thought it actually done a lot more work than it had. It only got two squads. Interesting.
because uh, he was just constantly pulling his guys out. So that's fair enough, really. Um, that um, yeah, his rush at the start really got me. I didn't. You don't expect that. F well, thirty nine wide does have that option to open with two AA helos and a rocket helo and a recon and an SU twenty five. He didn't bring the SU twenty five this time. Um, that's an option that they do have. And yeah, he just kept buying those grads. Didn't really accomplish a lot. I mean, got got like an igler and okay, so I got, he got a few things, but yeah, the the T eighty BV in the central point that I almost clustered, but I changed my mind. That was a big mistake. But I killed so many of his CVs that game. It was actually incredible how many CVs I killed. But you see, at the start, I wasn't even looking, dude. I just got rinsed. <laughs> I got rinsed at the start, and then I slowly started pulling it back. Um. And then he just kept taking worse and worse and worse trades. He basically just probably assumed he'd won. So that was actually a really good game. Um, please let me know if you think so as well. Uh, and yeah, he's ranked 211 with 52 games played. By no means a bad player, but he's got lots of standard games. So please let me know what you think. I'll see you around.